start with your name and your draft position, and then go from there if you can ask questions. Okay. All right. Um, do you want me to look, look at the camera or look at you? Um, Does it matter? Look at me. Okay. That's better for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Micah Bailey, and my official title is Director of Operations for Elijah Rising. wrestling around with um, the focus of this year's summit and, and really what the heart is and really what the heart of the Lord is for this year's Justice Summit. Last year it was it seemed easy so we really were kind of struggling with it this year but um, after prayer and deliberation we really felt like the Lord wanted to just captivate the heart of a generation and so you know you can be consumed in pornography or you can be consumed in lust but there's also a calling for this generation to be consumed with the, the fire of the Lord, you know, to be consumed with a, a message of purity and a message of justice. Um, and so really we wanted to, to send forth a message that it doesn't matter what you're, you're consumed by now or, or what you feel overtaken by. And even if that is pornography or even if that is whatever, there's an answer and the answer is Jesus. And the answer is now, you know, he wants to intervene in your life right now and step in and just flip the script, you know, no matter how hopeless or overtaken somebody might feel, that there's always, there's always an answer. And the answer is always going to be just, the answer is like Jesus filling your life, you know, filling, filling your life with hope and, and, and just the power to overcome. And so that's kind of really where we were coming from with the name consumed and with the focus of this year's summit. text for the video came from a series of articles from uh, Josephine Butler, who was a 19th century abolitionist, and she was actually one of the forerunners, probably grandmothered in all the other abolitionists, even including um, like the Salvation Army into the sex trafficking movement back in the 19th century. And so we found her writings, um, we got into archives and different um, like bins and things that those articles had been saved in, and so we got um, access to all of these these ancient articles. As I was going through her, her articles, different books, different uh, periodicals, different speeches even, um, I just, the Holy Spirit would just like land on certain pieces. It really felt like just the Holy Spirit was like touching on, on certain parts of her speeches and things. Um, and she would really give voice to what is going on in today's society. So our battle for purity, our battle for justice, um, is the same battle today as it was even like 150 years ago. And so um, all of those little excerpts where she was really just, um, just challenging the church, challenging the men of that generation to arise to another standard of purity and excellence, really just moral excellence. Um, all those parts just really stuck out to me. I have a, a huge stack of like this, you know, <laughs> of all of her writings. I just can't, it's hard to just pick and choose. So we, um, we got together as a team and we kind of finalized, decided on a couple of her, her quotes, but it was pretty difficult to, to weed those out. 